Hey mom, what are you doing? Hey sweetie, I'm just checking through the letters real quick. Mom, you're acting highly suspicious. Do you know anything about this letter? Um, no. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Mom? <sighs> okay. So, please, don't be mad. I got a second job and saved up enough money to pay for your tuition to go to that school. Even though we clearly made an agreement that I wouldn't push myself too hard. You what? I know. Telling you was out of the question because I knew that you'd be against it, so I kept it a secret. It was supposed to be a surprise and reward for you for being a good daughter and supporting me through the tough times without your father. You even got a part-time job and tried to help out whenever you could. So... I wanted to do something nice for you in return. Wow, that's really nice of you, Mom. You didn't have to. Thanks. But wait, don't they have a huge monthly tuition? It's a one-time payment, and your grades also helped on part of it. Jeez, relax. Your mom's got this. Hang on. How much was the tuition? So... Uh, it, um, oh, yeah, it's the end of summer vacation, and you're starting your first day of school tomorrow. Huh? Hi, I'm Zoe Lumi. As you can probably already tell, I've been admitted to Prodigy High. Prodigy High is where the rich and talented go to learn and improve their skills. Parents from all over the country send their children ranging from prodigies to nobles and celebrities to ensure a bright future for their children. It's my dream school, but I never actually thought I'd be attending it until this happened. I still can't believe I'm here. This is way too overwhelming for me. Hey! I saw you trying to run away. You can't escape that easily. I'm Charlotte. The student council entrusted me to guide you throughout your week of school. So you're stuck with me. Well, that's nice and all, but, uh, I left my, uh, oven. I left my oven open at home. Gotta go close it to, uh, save energy. So if you don't mind, I'll be taking my leave. <laughs> hey, let me go! And that's the science room. It's gonna take me years before I know my way around. By the way, I still don't remember agreeing to any of this. Oh, quit whining! Hey, wait for me! <sighs> How nice of you to sprint and leave me behind. That voice sounds oddly familiar. Hey, Renee! Hey, Char. How's it going? Oh, good so far. Who is that? Oh, this is Zoe. Audrey assigned me to take care of her for a while, so don't mind me if I'm missing. Okay then. A newbie? Allow me to introduce myself. Oh boy. The name's Ashley Hawkins. I'm the president of the sports club in this school, and I dare say I'm the best. Here we go. In my lifetime, I have attended four Olympics, won 29 golden medals, 17 trophies, and I- How about I introduce myself? My name is Tamara Autumns, and I'm a science prodigy mainly in the area of biology. I love plants thanks to the influence of my mother who also shares my great love for them and is a politician for the environment. You too, Renee! Ugh, fine. My name's Renee Baxter and I'm a music prodigy and prodigy singer. You might ask how that's possible since singing voices all overall have the same features. To 
keep things simple, I can range my voice from really high to really low pitches, and I can play over 42 instruments. 42? Shocking, right? I think that's about all, Charlotte. Okay then, see you later! Now, we're off to get your schedule! Enter! Good morning, Audrey! We're here to get the new beat schedule! Sure, they're on the table over there. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Charlotte Ant, and I'm an art prodigy here. I'm Zoe, and there's nothing that special about me, really. I just transferred here, as you can tell. Aren't you a prodigy or a celebrity? Nope, ordinary. That's new. How did you get into the school? My mom enrolled me. Oh, Charlotte, and newbie, come in and sit down. Anyway, as you can see, we have a new peer among us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sup? I mean, hello. I mean, good morning. My name is Zoe. <laughs> nice to meet you, Zoe. Anyway, we are learning about the Fibonacci sequence. Have any of you heard of it? If so, would you care to explain? Yes, Adagio. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers that relies on the addition of two numbers, resulting in the product that is then added on to the previous number and so on. The sequence usually starts with one and one. Excellent. I will leave some previous exercises on the board for you to work on while I do the register. If you're not here, just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who was that? She's super elegant. I assume you guys are probably salty about the fact that I made two videos or more regarding how I was going to make a series and blah 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 and I wanted to recruit a team again and all that jazz. If I'm being really honest, I did not expect anyone to volunteer as a voice actor. Heck, I didn't expect anyone to audition. But I had over 100 submissions on this series, for which I'm very thankful, but I think this has to end. No more empty promises, no more jumping into responsibilities and projects I am not ready for. And I'm tired of having to make excuses for my inefficiency. If I do do that, please call me out on it. I'm on the path of changing this behavior. I love this channel. And if I want to keep it alive, I have to be more organized and persistent about consistency. Clearly, expectations and reality are two completely different leagues. The series looks so much better in my head, but I realize to make that dream a reality, hard work and dedication needs to be driving down that same road. I got halfway through episode one, and I felt unsatisfied. I didn't like the quality of the animation or the quality of the video. The chroma key was off, and all honesty, nothing was going well. And I assume you guys are probably going to notice at some point in the video that there is some chroma key around some characters. One thing I really struggle with is quality. I'm not talking about the quality of my work, no. Although that may need some refining, I always try to give the best quality possible when I'm making a video for you guys. I'm talking about the quality of the video. It's always blurry or choppy somehow, and there are always some elements in a video that flicker or something is revealing another, something is invisible. There's always a minor mistake in my video that I couldn't spot, and that leaves me unhappy when I do. I can't expect to be perfect, of course, no one is perfect, but these trivial mistakes sometimes take a toll on my feelings. I kind of feel like all my walls I'm building are halfway done and are really sloppy, so I want to tear them down and start over new, this time taking a brick by brick precisely until I build the wall to satisfaction. I'm going to upload the unfinished video to, you, to the channel. I know, I had you up 
a lot when writing this series. Sorry to disappoint. It is up to you whether you guys uh, think it is up to standard or not. You guys have been looking forward to it for a long time, and I'd just be unfair not to show you guys at this point. The video will be available after I've uploaded it, of course. Um, guess that's it for now.